Hello everyone, welcome to AKP Cyber Tech. Today I am going to set up a Raspberry Pi Zero W. For this setup, I am going to utilize few accessories. Number one, one micro SD card. Number two, one micro SD USB adapter. And last but not least, one power adapter of 5 volt 2 ampere. The micro SD card is for loading the Raspberry Pi OS into the Raspberry Pi Zero W and the USB adapter for writing the ways from the desktop or laptop into the SD card. No more waiting, let's start. Go to Google and search for Raspberry Pi OS. Next, download the Raspberry Pi Imager. The download is complete. Next, install the software. So it will take couple of seconds to complete the installation. Now it's ready. Before using the Raspberry Pi Imager, insert the micro SD card into the USB adapter. So it's complete. Next, insert the USB adapter into the USB port of the desktop. Now it's time to open the Raspberry Pi Imager. First, we need to select the operating system. So I am going for the recommended one. It's Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit desktop variant. Next, the storage. I have already inserted the micro SD card in my desktop. Select the micro SD card that is right now available. Before writing the OS into the micro SD card, one thing we need to do that is the settings option. Now, before Raspberry Pi Imager 1.6, we need to add SSH and Wi-Fi settings manually into the operating system. Right now, no more manual addition. You can set up the OS from the Raspberry Pi Imager itself. So, let's do the settings. In settings page, we can set the host name. It's your choice what to write in the host name. Next, SSH option. It's important to communicate with the Raspberry Pi Zero. We need SSH. So don't forget to enable the SSH option. Next, the username and password. You can put any username as per your choice. Okay. So right now I am writing Pi Zero. Okay. Next, password. After setting the username and password, next we need to configure the Wi-Fi. Put your Wi-Fi SSID and the password. You can change the country also. Select the right country for wireless settings because there are certain changes from country to country regarding the Wi-Fi settings. I am selecting India. All the settings are done. Save it. Now it's time to write the operating system into the micro SD card. The process will take a couple of minutes. In the meantime, we can download the putty for SSH communication. So let's do it. Now search for putty in Google and open www.putty.org. Next, download putty. As per your operating system, you can download the software. Next, install putty. The installation of Putty is complete. So we are ready to use the Putty for communicating with the Raspberry Pi Zero. But the operating system yet to written in the micro SD card.
Now the Raspberry Pi waste has been successfully loaded into the micro SD card. So it's time to eject the card from the computer and load into the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Right now I am inserting the micro SD card into Raspberry Pi Zero. So it's complete. Next we need to switch on the Raspberry Pi. After inserting the micro SD card into Raspberry Pi Zero W, let's power it on through the 5 volt 2 ampere adapter. Now the LED is blinking. So let's wait for the system to boot up. In the meantime, I am going to open the putty to communicate with the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Let's open the putty for SSH communication. Now, in, in, in my system, I have allocated a static IP for my Raspberry Pi Zero. That's why every time I can use this IP address. It's better. Otherwise, you need to use various IP scanner softwares to find out the IP that is allocated to the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Next, click on Open. Accept the warning. Before connecting to the Raspberry Pi Zero W, you need to provide the username and password that you have used during the OS writing. Here, the password is invisible. So, after typing the password, hit enter. Now, I have successfully connected my desktop to the Raspberry Pi Zero W. For accessing the settings of Raspberry Pi Zero W, we need Raspberry config command now the setting is available in front of me so i can change the settings of my raspberry pi 0 w using putty i can access the raspberry pi 0 w but if you want to visualize your raspberry pi 0 w system then you need one remote desktop application for this let's go to the interface option in interface options scroll down to vlc and enable the vlc server use the left and right arrow to enable the vlc server now the vlc server successfully activated in my raspberry pi 0 w so I can use the PNC viewer from my desktop to visualize the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Now search for PNC viewer in Google. Select your operating system and download the PNC viewer. The download is complete. 
let's install the PNC viewer. The installation of VNC viewer is complete. Let's open it. Here I am going to use VNC viewer without sign in. Now in VNC viewer, what we need? We need the IP address that is allocated to Raspberry Pi 0 W. Before using the VNC server, you need to authenticate yourself. So use your username and password. It's done. You can visualize the Raspberry Pi OS that is running in my Raspberry Pi 0 W. Let's explore the Raspberry Pi OS that is running in my Raspberry Pi 0 W. These are the connectivity options, sound option, Bluetooth, and this is the update option. You can update from here without using any monitor, any extra accessories like USB, keyboard, or mouse, or uh, you can say HDMI cable. You can use your Raspberry Pi 0 W from your desktop. It's very much user friendly. If you have any doubt, any query regarding the video, feel free to communicate with me through the comment section of the video. Thank you.